In this lesson, we will uh, use another formula, the double angle formula. And it just comes from uh, the sum formula. So, if we had um, sine theta is 3 over 4, then does sine 2 theta equals 6 over 4? Do we just multiply by 2? And um, it turns out we don't, but maybe if you don't know what to do and you're creative, you would multiply by 2. Well, we, don't, we can't do that, so that's false. Um, and let's look at how this works. Um, we already know all of the sum formulas, and you already have those written down. So then what, um, how could we find a uh, formula for this, sine 2x? <clears throat> if you want to try to find it on your own, um, we're just going to use these. How can you use these to find these? So you can pause the video if you want and try that. And here's how it works. 2x is just going to be x plus x. And that's going to be, we just use this formula. And that equals sine cosine, sine cosine. So we just get 2 sine cosine and then for cosine we're going to have this but we'll just have x x x x because it's just going to be cosine of x plus x so it's cosine cosine minus sine sine and that's going to be cosine squared minus sine squared And then with tangent, we have um, just replace that with an x. And now we'll have tan plus tan. So it'll be a 2 tangent over 1 minus tangent squared, because that'll be an x if we have x plus x here. OK, so those are the double angle identities. So now we have sine theta negative 7 over 25. Um, and we need to find sine of 2 theta. We know that is. 2 sine cosine. Well, we know sine is negative 7 over 25, but what's cosine going to be? And we have um, choices for that. It says that um, theta is uh, between pi and 3 pi over 2. So if we look at this and we have y over r, uh, y, the y value is negative and uh, radius um, and in this case we have two angles that have the same value of sine um, but they give us the um, 
restriction here. And that means if we're going to go from pi to 3 pi over 2, here's pi, here's 3 pi over 2. So we know we're looking at that angle. And then we need to find, uh, we need to find the cosine of that. So the missing side, we have x squared plus 7 squared is 25 squared, 625. 576 and we get 24 so now we can evaluate cosine and we're going to have the given value of sine and then cosine is going to be negative 24 over 25 and we get 336 over 625 All right, pause the video and try that one. X is positive, so we could be there or there. And there's the 3 and the 5. Uh, but this says from 0 to pi over 2, so we're, we know we're using the uh, angle in quadrant 1. And we can find the missing side is a 4. So we have uh, sine 2 theta is 2 sine cosine sine. Sine is going to be 4 over 5. Cosine is 3 over 5. And we get 24 over 25. Here's just um, a review of that notation that theta is an element of this set from pi over 2 to pi. And um, pause the video and try that one on your own. Okay, y is negative, x is positive, negative y, positive x, that would be over there. Um, negative y, positive x, and here we have positive y, negative x. Uh, theta is from pi over 2 to pi, so we know we are in quadrant 2. And to find the radius we will go 3 squared plus negative 5 squared equals r squared so 9 plus 25 and we get 34 radical 34 And cosine squared, 
So we want to do cosine of this, where this is radical 34. Cosine is going to be negative 5 over radical 34. And sine is 3 over radical 34. 25 over 34. 9 over 34. And we get 16 over 34. Reduce it to 8 over 17. Pause the video and try that one. Y is negative, so we could have angles in those quadrants, but this says 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi, so that's from here to here. We know we're dealing with that triangle. Um, y, R, and that's a three four five we have the missing side and then we just use the formula for tangent tangent is negative four over three Two times the negative four over three, one minus negative four over three squared. So this will give us negative eight over three, one minus sixteen over nine. If we write this as nine over nine. We have 9 minus 16, so now we have negative 7 over 9. And we get to reduce, so we have positive 24 positive 7 over 9, 9 over 7 and that will be a uh, positive 24 over 7. And now we're going to solve an equation. We can't, um, since we have different arguments, 2 theta and theta, uh, we won't be able to isolate one of them. So <clears throat> we have to rewrite this in terms of theta. And that means we'll use the um, double angle identity. Um, let's just address maybe a common error first. So uh, maybe a creative student would do that because it looks like uh, the distributive property, but it's not because this doesn't say sine times something. It's sine of 2 theta. So uh, we can't do that. Make sure you don't do that. Yeah. <clears throat> what we do instead is rewrite sine 2 theta. 
we know this is two sine cosine and factor and then sine is zero and cosine minus one is zero add one divide by two so this is y over r this is x over r y is zero here and here here we have x is one x is positive so that's going to be there one two and then we can write down the um, angles we have zero pi and over here we have pi over three five pi over three Okay, and this is just another um, Greek letter, alpha. Uh, instead of using theta, we're using alpha. And uh, pause the video and try that one. So we have cosine 2 theta and then theta. Um, we need to rewrite 2 theta as theta. So cosine, um, we have some choices. We could write it like this. Cosine theta, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta equals and we could do it this way um, but we just have a cosine there we would have to rewrite that um, oh actually no this we can just add sine to both sides and we'll get cosine squared equals uh, zero so if we add sine squared to both sides and then square root and we need angles that have an x value of 0 alpha pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 okay but we have um, variations of um, this formula and we can write it as 1 minus 2 sine squared so we can rewrite this like this or we can write it like that and in this problem <clears throat> let's um, add 2 sine theta to both sides square root Oops. And that'll be a y over r. We need to have angles that have a y value of positive 1 with a radius of 1 and negative 1. So then we get the same angles. I'll just do the same thing here, replace the tan 2 beta uh, with its uh, identity. Pause the video and try that one. Tan 2 beta is going to be 2 tan beta over 1 minus tan squared <clears throat> minus 
let's multiply both sides by the denominator. Distribute to tan beta and uh, let's subtract uh, to tan beta, get zero. Divide by negative two. Cube root. We want to know when uh, y is 0 and x is 1. y is 0 and x is 1. Um, oh, and also since x is, x can be positive or negative, we could also have a negative there. And um, this is still equal to 0, that's equal to 0, and we get that value also when x is negative 1. So now we have 0 pi, and go ahead and say 2 pi also, because it's asking for solutions including 0 and 2 pi. So then we can include 2 pi. And that's it for today.